Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. And just for you, crew, uh, welcome to the vlog also. <laughs> uh, to continue on yesterday's vlog, uh, I've got one thing, two things, one and a half things done on the list. Um, and I've added some more stuff to my list. So uh, I did finish editing show nine. I started uploading it to an FTP server. The show uh, is around nine point something gigabytes and I have to upload it through an FTP server and it takes about two to two and a half hours. So my computer is kind of down until that it's well it's down for uploading things fast because now it's using up all the bandwidth trying to upload a nine gig file and then I have to upload it to a different network on top of that. So Wild TV is one of them and Sportsman Channel is the other one. Uh, so I still it's just after 11, 10 after 11. I still have to go to Taco Bell uh, get water while I'm up there. Um, I have to oh, I finished the vlog so I can scratch that off. Uh, I have to shave still as you can see and then shower and get ready and then go up and do the Taco Bell thing. I plug this in and I also one of the things that happens over time when I don't do a lot of travel vlogs is I change things on the timeline of my uh, Final Cut Pro program not the program the the timeline so sometimes i update the artwork or i change things and then all of a sudden i go on holiday or do a travel vlog for you guys and this isn't up to date and i'm missing the artwork so sometimes i have to revert back so this time i started this up i dragged over the latest version of my timeline into here i guess it's the document the Final Cut Pro document, dragged it in here, start it up, and it'll show me what things are not linked anymore. And so then I'll drag over the new artwork into here, make sure it's all ready to go. So, and I also made sure that it's all fully charged, it's all charged, good to go. Uh, this, uh, the vlog is finished compressing. I have to now upload it to YouTube. So, shower, shave, get things ready. As the day goes forward, I'm gonna have to make sure I pack and make sure I don't forget anything. One of the things I wanna bring is uh, my my radio microphone. I have a radio microphone and I also have a, uh, a recorder unit. Uh, I guess it's an audio recorder and I've never had good luck with it because uh, it sounds really muffled. Uh, it also doesn't sync with the audio uh, when I put it back into a, a timeline with the video, it's, it's always off. So you have to keep each, you have to adjust it every single, I don't know, so many minutes. So it's a pain in the ass. So I've just either record with this or I record with the audio straight from the microphone on the big camera, which reminds me, I'm gonna probably bring the big camera to Julia's and JP's. So I gotta put, start putting things on the desk so I don't forget anything as I remember. All right, shower shave Taco Bell. Just finished walking Sam. I didn't put it on my list, but I knew I had to do it. I had to add two more things on here. Uh, bank, I had to go to the bank and get some US money. I only have like $50 American. I'll probably need more than that. Um, Ryan Lamb, an awesome subscriber from Buffalo area. He said, don't forget the tolls. And we have like a toll. We uh, Every time we get uh, American change, we always throw it into here. So uh, it is half full. It's pop there's probably at least $25 in here. So I'm gonna bring that. So I'm gonna use it in the States. Thank you very much, Ryan. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for leaving comments on the vlog I just put up right now. It's so nice to put a vlog up and just get nothing but awesome feedback. People being super friendly. Uh, my vlog channel is my favorite channel just for that reason. Thanks guys. Thought I'd hit up the uh, post office first. See if we've got any mail. It's actually lightly snowing now. Better stop. I've had enough. Wow. No signature required. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Where'd this one come from? All right, we've got Anthony's box from Ireland. Cool. <laughs> Next stop, Taco Bell. just remembered that I have to uh, get my US money so I have to hit the bank 
Yeah, it didn't listen to me about the whole snow thing. That's so like crazy. My hair is getting wet. I got my US funds. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I always do something nice for somebody every day. It makes you feel good and it makes them feel good. Uh, so I thought I had $300 in there, but obviously I converted the money into Canadian and paid off bills. So let me put you there. There you go. What is that? Oh, it's a big drop. Let me clean you off, people. Better? Better. All right. So, yeah, I, I had $300 in there, but I must have, when I got paid last in American, I probably used the whole check plus some of the money, well, $250, because, whoa, because there's uh, $50 only left in there. So I took out the 50 bucks, because I had some American money at home. I'll combine it, and that will get me through this weekend. And uh, yeah, it's time to go to Taco Bell once and for all. Made it up to Barry, and uh, I'm at Taco Bell, but I'm looking at some of the posters on the wall, or on the windows, and they've got a thing called, sorry, I got a thing called a double layer taco, but there's supposed to be something that it's like a the taco is actually made out of chicken, <laughs> and uh, the taco shell. So I'll go and check it out, and if it's not there, then I'll figure something out that I haven't done already. Taco crunch, cool chipotle, double layer. I don't know what double layer is. Double layer tacos. Taco Crunch. Sorry about that guys, I totally forgot to videotape uh, me setting up and I just wanted to get in there. They didn't have what I was supposed to do and so I went with this double air taco thing, cool chipotle and nacho something <laughs> and uh, just realized now as I'm like going over to the water store, buy some water. But I apologize for that. It took me like 32 minutes and I didn't do the drive through, didn't do anything like that. And it just, I just went forever and I made up a lot. I screwed up a bunch of times, of course. Uh, then there was cars that were kept coming and going beside me on either side. Uh, so I've kind of decided from here going forward that uh, I'm gonna try really hard to find a spot where there's nobody around because it really made the uh, uncut and raw part of it uh, really long and I lost some, some of my momentum. The other thing too is saying double layer, uh, the brand new double layer tacos from Taco Bell, the cool ranch, or the cool Chipotle, see I keep saying ranch, and the nacho crunch, like there's so many words and I kept stumbling through that and, and I had to do it multiple times. That's what happens on some of these shoots. But I hope you like the video, guys, and I can't wait till they come out with the Taco Bell uh, taco, chicken taco shell, and uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's go over to the water store. I made it to the water depot. I'm gonna get my chugs out. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Had to put them all in the backpack. All right, I gotta put you guys away. <laughs> they usually put them on a cart for you, but I ran each one out one at a time just for the exercise of it. There's just something, something to do while they were filling up. All right, uh, I'm gonna go over to the reptile store because Ben is fresh out of rats. And the snake is hungry! Hungry! He needs a rat fixing. Reptile Wrangler. I wonder if it's got a rat sale. Sale on rats. Got our bag of rats. Uh, yeah, it came to like $17 for four. I won't show you them, because that's just gross. All right, uh, so, checking the list. Did the Taco Bell, uh, got the water, 
did the vlog, uh, bank, cheese curds. I'm supposed to get cheese curds and bring them to New York. Paul said he got his near his house, so I might just get them there. Whoa! Nothing like speeding really fast through a parking lot. Luckily, I was paying attention. <laughs> Shut up. Life, like, <laughs> I, I, I don't, it's not like a, it's not a presentation. I'm not playing a character. I'm yeah. just me. I'm just which would be it. hard. Playing yourself is easy. Exactly. Anyway, so I'm dropping Ben off at Leah's because they want to get together tonight. Carol was going to pick up Leah on the way home, drop her off here, and then I guess Leah's mom would have to pick her up tonight. But this actually works out better. Um, no, actually, I was going to drop you off still. There's a couple, there's three things that were going to happen. I was going to drop you off, and then mom was going to bring you home eventually when she came home. Uh, and then the other problem is, it looked like a kid was waving at us. There was a kid waving at us. Uh, and then it looked like uh, I was going to drop you off, and then mom was going to bring you back. But now I'm going to drop you off and bring you back. Either mom or I'll pick you up, depending on if, if you want to be picked up earlier, come home with mom if you want to be poked up later it'll be with me because i'm going to be going rock climbing with paul tonight oh nice first time in like seven months eight months that hasn't been that long it's been a long time since we've been rock climbing it hasn't been seven eight months yeah man me and i have only been dating for nine months and i remember you guys going in the summer i don't think so dude we, we went on a, I remember we went on a trip, but we didn't actually rock climb. We went on a hike, basically. Yeah, but leading up to that, you guys rock climbed. I don't think so, because uh, Paul's hurt his back. Uh, back in the spring, he's got like, it's called sacro, sacro, no. Uh, scoliosis? No. Scoliosis is a, is a the curvature, curvature of the spine. spine. I don't know, you were saying scag, I know, um. Just a guess sciatica so it's like a pinched nerve in your back and it's not getting better so he's constantly in pain and but apparently and that's one of the reasons we stopped climbing but apparently climbing actually helps with sciatica he's researched whether that's true or not is beyond me anyway it's probably one of those things you have to tough out though yeah so you're gonna miss me for uh three days you're gonna miss my car i know that where are you going for three days uh, JP and Julia's in New York. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah. I wish I could go. I love New York. Yeah, it's not New York City. Oh, New York, New York State? York State. Not New York, New York? New York Just State New York. Is, is gorgeous too, but we're not going to New York City. If I was going to New York City, I'd want you or mom or somebody to come with me. It'd be better. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll drop you off and then I'll head to Paul's and do a cook and review. Sounds good. He slept in all day. I gave him my my supreme fries, and he ate, so he inhaled them. I it's love supreme favorite. fries. One of my favorite. They're okay. If not, like the best thing you can get from really Taco Bell. I don't know. I think like I've had cheesy gorgita crunch and all that. I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever meal. As long as it comes with the supreme fries, we're good. Like it doesn't even matter what I get. It doesn't matter how many tacos, cheesy gorgita crunch, the Crunchwrap Supreme doesn't even matter. As long as it comes with Supreme Fries, good. Mine's the uh, Crunch Wrap Supreme is my fave. I could eat that I like every the week, no problem. To crunch. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, just in case some of you very observant people noticed, uh, I didn't pass a bus, <laughs> a school bus, with it, flashing it, lights. It moves over. It, school buses move over for you so, uh, so that you can pass them because they usually go slow. And the reason it was safe was because his red lights weren't flashing, but he put his blinkers on. Yeah. His hazards moved over so the traffic can get around him, which is very polite of the, uh, the school when bus. When I used to go on the school bus on early mornings, they would always move over for like, yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, because they was because causing of, traffic. Yeah, exactly. So. so, and that was another uh, point. A lot of people were saying, wow, it must be like really crazy uh, for the schools to be closed. 
one thing uh, Ontario schools never do is they never close. Almost no matter what, they never close for weather. So, but the buses are the ones that cause the cancellation of kids going to school. Yeah. So we. I, I've never heard of our my school, any of my schools being actually closed. Like yeah, they're days, always open. On days or snow days, I can still go in and still like talk to the teachers, get out with anything I needed to. They just won't teach a lesson because they know right. nobody's going to be there. They're going to have to teach it again. Kids who wake up and they only have the bus to get to school, it's unfair to, to teach a lesson when they are not even able to get to school, right? So, right. Yeah. So... Schools, one of the reasons they never ever close a school for weather is because uh, they'll lose their funding for that day. So a board will never shut their board down because uh, really bad weather. Uh, they always say, you know, if you can make it to school, great. If you can't, stay home and be safe. It's all about safety. And if you can't make it to school, say, but the school never ever closes. Unless it's burning, uh, then it's closed. But I'm talking about the whole board. Yeah. They'll never close the board down for a day. The astronomical amount of money they lose. As you can see, we're at Paul's house. Just gonna about to eat our dinner. What did you make for today? What? What did I do? What did you make? I did a burger quesadilla, sweet potato so, fries. Right. And I've already started eating, so we're going to start filming. We should call it, we should call it a, a, um, uh, case, case, a quesadilla burger wrap. Or a quesadilla, because uh, what? Because it's, it's kind of like a crunch wrap supreme. It is kind of like a crunch wrap. We could call it a, crunch, a burger crunch wrap supreme. No, because we want to copy the Arby's thing. Anyway, so just showing you, we've got a light there, light there. And the other light is around the corner. Gotta hurry up before Paul eats everything. So I put a light here and that's just lighting up this area. Just wanted to show you, there's the set. I've never actually really shot this yeah, set. It starts at my plate's empty. Uh, oh. I've never really shot the oh. set to show people what it looks oh. like from our end. This is what it looks like from Paul's point of view. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong with your nose? Hmm. I was picking it. <laughs> <laughs> Made it over to Rock and Chalk. First climb. Oh boy. I won't be able to videotape it because Paul has to belay me and I have to climb. So I will drop him. But I'm going to climb up there on the first one. Apparently this pink one's really, really difficult. It is a what? Yeah, we can't tell. They haven't wrote the, uh, wrote the difficult levels on them very well. Oh well. But just in case you're new and you haven't seen Rock and Shot. That's what it looks like. Just a jungle gym of funness. Funness, right? Yes. This might not. I haven't tied one in nine months, so I should survive. First climb was good. Successful, didn't fall off. It was a 5-7. Paul's gonna do the same climb. He's next. Tried a 5-10A, which is the red one, and it does that over the edge ledge up there, and I couldn't pull myself over with the holes that they were given to me. Maybe next time, we'll see if Paul does it. All right, all done. One of the hardest climbs of the night is getting down these stairs. <gasps> just kidding. It's just uh, the stairs are actually a little bit stubbier than normal, and they mess you up. Yeah, the... It's another little gym for those hardcore climbers. To me, that's not a, even close to being interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Some people love that stuff because it's a workout room as opposed to a climbing room, really. Yeah, but I'm not into it that much where I want to work it out. How was your climb, sir? Good. Yeah, surprise, I, I climbed better than I thought I would. I, I was, yeah. Uh, I had I, very, 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 very low expectations. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to do 10 climbs. Well, that was my goal. It wasn't mine. <laughs> we got to do 10, and whether it's easy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I think the only, like, super easy one was the, the purple wall there. Because it's not only is it easy, but it's a short wall. Just dropped Paul off at his house. Had a great time rock climbing. My fingers are all tingly and numb. Uh, been a while. I'm not sure if you've ever gone rock climbing before, but the holds 
that you grab are kind of like sandpaper a little bit and so climbing for an hour hour and a half we did 10 climbs uh, and you, when you're not used to it your fingers get really raw right off the top and when you climb every week it goes away uh, or you heal really fast and your fingers get nice and tough but uh, we haven't climbed in nine months so today was the day to find out how weak our fingers are <laughs> anyway so I uh, gotta get home and get to sleep I'll pack in the morning and uh, as I think of things I will the only thing I didn't I missed on my list guys was um, cheese curds so I'm gonna, uh, I realized in the morning I think I'm gonna have to stop somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop, get some cheese curds before I cross the border in the United States. All right, time to go home. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by the vlog. And we'll see you again tomorrow. To be continued. Ciao.